Where's your donkey? I've got it. <laughs> you ain't I got a donkey? I doubt he'd move outside. Okay, well, we're gonna see him, okay? I'm gonna leave you Cause you don't treat me right It's time for Down Home in the Tri-States with your host, Ron Jones. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Glad to have you with us on Down Home in the Tri-States. I'm Ron Jones, and we're on every Saturday morning right here on this channel, and we certainly do appreciate you watching this program and doing business with our sponsors. That's what keeps us on the air. Hey, let me remind you again about getting your tickets now for the drawing to help the Wounded Warriors. They have a lot of different prizes, but one of them is a, is a, a 14 foot uh, aluminum rhino boat and a, th uh, uh, a 15 horse uh, uh, Suzuki outboard four stroke and a, a alum all aluminum trailer. And uh, it's at a value of, a, that's a value of about $8,000, okay? Your tickets are $5 each and uh, you can buy as many tickets as you want. Uh, and uh, they got places you can inspect, you can inspect the the boat, if you want to call this number, call Joe. That's Joe's number. But you can get the tickets for five dollars a piece. Uh, I tell you what, that's uh, last year. Yeah, bought four tickets, twenty dollars, and he won the thing. Twenty bucks for all that, folks. You can't beat that. Call that number. Let's see. Uh, the frozen food sale at uh, pickup is uh, we told you last week has been extended now to the thirtieth, or moved to the thirtieth. Uh, because of the storm and everything, so it's going to be September the 30th from 2.30 until 5, okay, at, at the Main Street Market right there on the corner of Highway 977 in Chipley, Florida, okay. And also, if you're in need of some uh, roosters, boy, have I got a surprise for you. I got some free game roosters. All you got to do is come get them, okay. I got a, I got a bunch of them, but I got, I think, eight of them. Got eight of them pinned up, so all you got to do is get them, but the others are kind of wandering around and all. I hadn't caught them yet, but uh, if you want some roosters, you know, give me a call. Uh, first come, first serve, okay? Free. Free to, free to a good home, let's put it that way. But what you do with them when you get them, that's, that's your business. Oh, let's see. Uh, also, surplus and salvage of Chipley. If you, if you need any kind of uh, 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 supplies or anything uh, during this storm season, just remember, Surplus and Savage of Chipley can save you uh, the best money, okay? Surplus and Savage of Chipley, Highway 90 in Chipley, Florida, okay? If you get some blown-off roofs and things like that, or you got some metal roofing that's blown off, or you want to decide that, heck, I'm, ch I'm tired of changing shingles every time a storm comes by, and uh, the best thing you want to do is go get you a, have a metal roof put on. You can get that metal roofing at Surplus and Savage of Chipley, and you can save money doing it, okay? And you can get it the same day. And uh, Dan, uh, I'm just touching on some of our sponsors this morning. Water Dan, uh, during these storms, if you get any kind of lightning hit and stuff like that, it knocks your pump out, okay? You be sure and call Water Dan, okay? Water Dan's a professional at this stuff when it comes to lightning, okay? He won't beat around the bush, him, y'all, him, all, him, all. Dan will look at it and tell you what's wrong with it, you know? You ain't got to do a process of elimination. That's what a lot of these pump people do. Process of elimination. They say, well, yes, ma'am, uh, your, uh, your pr pressure switch here is, uh, is uh, bad. We're going to change that. So they change that out. Still don't work. They say, oh, well, I think maybe this hen's bad too. So they take that out and put a new one on and still don't work. They say, well, uh, we know those are good, so it must be this thing. So here gets the process of elimination. They just keep changing things till they find the, find the problem. Water Dan can spot the problem when he looks at it the first time. 99% of the time, okay? He can look at it and tell you what's wrong with it, okay? Now, if it's, a, if it's something wrong with the pump down below, he may have to pull that pump, okay? But Water Dan, he, he's been in his business long enough that he can look at it and usually and tell you what's wrong with it. He ain't got to sell you a bunch of stuff you don't need is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Kings, you want to check out the latest duck hunting supplies they got up there. They got everything ready to go. All these people out there getting their duck blinds ready now. So y'all want to check check by Kings and see all the latest new stuff they got up there before you go somewhere else and buy something that, uh, that where they don't have the latest stuff, okay? 
you get you get the old stuff. You could have gone to Kings and got the new stuff. Same thing, just newer. Okay, so y'all check out Kings on the on Main Street in Chipley. That's uh, Highway 90. I mean Highway uh, 77, and that's right in front of the hospital there. Also, Wyndham shoes now, uh, uh, work boots and hunting boots. Uh, all you workers out there, especially you you people who work in the prisons and all. And you you get them comfortable shoes and you like them, you wear them for so long, just like Eric Toole did, but the heel or the sole wears out or something, you, you, you ain't got to go buy new boots. You go to Wyndham's in uh, Mariana, Mariana, Florida, they're across from the gazebo, okay? Go to Wyndham Shoes and uh, oh, Dennis and his uh, staff there, good Christian family folks, and uh, I guarantee they'll work with you. And you hunters now, you you got some favorite hunting boots that you like to wear, keep snake from biting you and stuff like that. And they wear out. Uh, you know, Wyndham can do you the best job you're going to find around. I guarantee it. And you ain't got to go buy a brand new pair of boots. And especially if you like the ones you got, okay? You ain't got to be getting water leaked in them because they got a hole in them. You go to Wyndham's. And A1 Septic Tank Services. Uh, a, lot of this, a lot of times people have uh, septic tanks that are in a little lower area or something. And when, you, when we get a lot of rain like we do, uh, or have been, you know, sometimes those drain fields and all just get saturated because they might not be in the right location or something. But A1 Septic Tank Services Incorporated can, uh, can uh, help you. They'll assess the, uh, come out and assess the situation and tell you what you need. You, you know, if you need a tank, a whole new system, especially if your system's old. Uh, I've got one that's uh, it's over 35 years old, and uh, it's time, time, and I'm fixing to dig the whole thing up and replace the whole thing. And A1's going to do it because I know they do a good job. They're honest and they'll do it right. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the best price, I can guarantee you, from A1, okay? Uh, all right, uh, if you got any trees that's, that's blown over, whole trees, down from the storm and all, and uh, you've been out there trying to cut them up and you just wear yourself out and all, call Easy Care. They can take care of your problem, okay? Call Easy Care today. Uh, Angels, want to remind you that Angels is the most popular country buffet in the Tri-County area. And by Tri-County, I mean uh, Washington, Holmes, and uh, uh, what's that other one? Jackson, Jackson County. I want to remind you about the Florida, Florida Trappers Association, their uh, rendezvous auction. That's uh, September the 29th and 30th. And uh, you ain't, uh, you're smart enough to realize that's going to be next weekend, okay? Uh, it's, it's September the 29th and 30th. And that's going to be uh, at 2017, uh, 2017 at Dave and Judy's Farm, 2381 Bonnet Pond Road in Chipley, Florida. Bring your unwanted items uh, for the auction to if you are uh, and bid on some of the treasures that you may find that you want. Okay. And for more information on this, you can call 850-638-7669, uh, 850-638-7669, and uh, they can tell you all about it and. Uh, uh, just to give you all the information you want, okay? I'll give them a call. Also, I want to tell, uh, uh, is it Rona, Rona, Lona Monroe? I can't say, I can't read you right now, but it looks like Alma, maybe. Alma Monroe uh, in Grand Ridge, Florida. She sent her... Uh, Thing in for the drawing or entry, we're gonna put it in there. And by the way, we're gonna be having a drawing here now. Uh, we're gonna have it in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna have some pretty good stuff. So, uh, some of the names we've uh, discarded, uh, I think probably most of them, except for the ones that have come in here lately. So, y'all need to get your new entries in, okay? Get your new entries in to that post office box right there, okay? And like I say, we're gonna be doing this in a couple of weeks, so you need to get them in quick. Uh, you can enter as many times as you like, no problem. Uh, Ronnie G uh, G uh, Grissett, Ronnie Grissett, he lives in uh, Alford, Florida. He's got his in. You're going to go in the drawing there, Ronnie. And uh, this this is not a drawing thing, but this is, I got another drawing thing somewhere. But there was three of them, and I can't find the other one, but I can guarantee you it's going to go in. Uh, this little thing that uh, I told you all about a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was sent to me by uh, George Freeman over in uh, Defineac Springs. It's, uh, uh, it, it, it just says, it says my, my wife and I have been a fan of yours since your Red Holland days. Uh, just uh, 
just wanted to drop you a note about the passing of Burke Caldwell. Uh, you, uh, yours truly, George Freeman, Mossy Head, Florida. And this was uh, about Burke Caldwell. Uh, Burke, you know, did the uh, theme for Red Holland, Fishing with Red, and he did my theme for Fishing with Ron. And uh, the, he was a very talented person. He was born in 1944, passed in uh, 2017. Uh, that was, uh, I think they got the date, uh, July the 31st, 2017. Uh, uh, so Burke Coyle went to be with his Heavenly Father on July the 31st, 2017. Uh, he had a long bout with the cancer, and we know what that means. We know what that's, that's about. We, you know, we sure do. Uh, he was born in Kodiak, Kentucky on April the 4th, 1944. Burke grew up in the mountains of eastern Kentucky. Uh, he had a wonderful childhood and became interested in music at a very young age and had a, a morning gospel radio program uh, in uh, program at the local Hazard, Kentucky uh, station when he was nine. His, his love of music continued to grow uh, during his school years, and while at Cumberland College, he decided to leave college and pursue a career with his uh, music and songwriting. He's done many, many things since that. He's did that. He's, he uh, has had a lot of uh, uh, different songs out and everything that uh, that he did. And uh, he's also played some local places over in uh, Fort Walton in that area over there. He played in local clubs such as the uh, Shalimar Club, Pensacola Holiday Inn, Leola's uh, The Green Knight, and many more. His songwriting skills were exceptional and were recorded by artist Hank Lachlan, Gene Watson, Jeff Cook, and Ricky Skaggs. Burt was a good Christian man, Kentucky gentleman, a Kentucky colonel, and will be missed by all who knew him and loved him. And uh, we sure hate to hear about Burt passing, and uh, we're glad that uh, glad you sent us this. And this, like I said, this was sent in by uh, GM and N.J. Freeman. And uh, as I said, got to, what did I do with that thing right here? George. George Freeman, Mossy Head. George, we certainly do appreciate that. And uh, we certainly, our hearts and our prayers will be and thoughts will be in, in uh, with the uh, Burke Colwell family. We certainly do appreciate that. And we're sorry to hear that. Talk too long this morning, but uh, Court Jordan, a good friend of mine, and the taxidermist, y'all heard me talk about him before, has got a, a series of videos, some I did, some that, that he did himself. But anyway, we got one on uh, how to cape a deer. It's a long video, so we may have a three-parter on this thing. But it's uh, it's how to cape a deer. In other words, how to when you when you kill a deer in a different state, like if you go to Alabama, or Georgia, or Mississippi, or something like that, you kill a deer. Uh, there's a law. There's laws uh, or a law where you can't transport that whole deer back to Florida. Okay, because if a tax you take that back to Florida, the taxidermy takes it in, and he gets caught with that deer by inspection by the FWC or somebody that happens to do regular inspections. They come and look at all his deers that he's got to mount, and they see the one from Mississippi. It's got a Mississippi tag on it. Uh, that's bad news because of, of this disease. Uh, that basically what it is, the brain has to come out. It's, it's in the brain. Okay. But because of that, everything that deer has to be broken down and caped and everything, and, and iced down and everything, uh, and certain parts thrown away before it comes into the state of Florida. You know, we're gonna have the first part of that on today with Court and a buddy of his, uh, Gay Cable, I believe his name is, a good old boy. He was he's gonna do the caping and everything. So we're gonna have part one of that on today, but won't be a whole lot to it today because I've talked so long. But anyway, and we're going to have part two and three or and four if we have to because this is important for you hunters to know when you go out of state and bring, try to bring your deer back and everything. It is illegal to do that without doing what you're going to see on this video, okay? Y'all stay with us. Back in a minute, down home in the Tri-States. I'm Ron Jones. Glad to have you with us. 
You've heard the phrase, live the dream. Well, the dream has come true and right at your back door. Blast Stream Power Boats have come to Hartford, Alabama, and Joe's Motor Service is now the exclusive Dothan area dealer. Blast Stream builds every boat with the highest of standards, and they choose dealers that live, work, and sail by the same quality standard. When teamed with the quality and speed of Suzuki and Honda outboards, nothing can touch a Blast Stream Power Boat. See the line at Joe's Motor Service, home of the forever Rhino Boat. Only now, bigger and better. You know fishing season is here. Don't wait until the last minute to get your tackle box, boating and camping supplies stocked and up to date. Check out the new line at King's Outdoors on Main Street in Chipley. King's Outdoors carries a complete line of quality fiberglass poles, including Red Holland's Brimmaster. From Shimano, Garcia, Zepco, and more, you won't find a better selection anywhere. Top of the line and hard to find plastic baits, spinner baits, and catfish baits. Look over the latest camping products. And don't forget the most important of all, the original fish scaler, Easy Scaler, just like Mr. JD sold. Support your local stores and your local shows. Do business with King's Outdoors and King's Discount Drugs and King's Quality Jewelry. Oh, be sure to tell them Ron Jones sent you. We sure would appreciate it. Seminole Feed from Main Street Market. When people care about their pets and animals, they want the best. That's why they feed them Seminole Feed, the world's best equine food. High fat, calorie rich, feed for breeding, performance, endurance, and show horses. Premium performance dog food, 26% crude protein. Don't settle for any less. Check out the complete line of Seminole Feed at Main Street Market. Seminole Feed, the best you can get. Hey, you need it? We've got Main it. Street Market. We're located on the corner of Highway 90 and 77 in Chipley, Florida. Dennis Kremer has been in the shoe business repairing shoes for a long time. He started work after Reverend W.C. Clarence Wyndham opened for business in 1959 in Mariana. Mr. Wyndham was the original owner of the shoe shop and sold out to me in 1984. Mr. Wyndham has passed on. He was my mentor and one that trained me. He was like, you like a daddy. Worn heel, hole in your shoe, but you love your shoe. Dennis can save you a lot of money. Renew it at Wyndham's. Check out the new line of Justin Chippewa and Double H Boots American Made. Wyndham Shoe Shop across from the gazebo on Lafayette Street in Mariana, Florida. You can also enter on Market Street in the rear. Go see them. Wyndham's good Christian folks you can trust. Okay, this is Cable. What's going on, Cable? Not much, Coy. We're just going to show these folks how we uh, cape out a deer the right way so you don't have to go through the hassle and the taxidermist don't have to uh, make it harder on yourself. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. No. So we're going to show y'all pretty much how to cape these deer out the right way. Now what Cable's going to show us, it doesn't matter if it's a white tail or an antelope or a mule deer or an elk. It doesn't really matter what it is. This is this is the right way to do it. First you want to start right here and come all the way down this arm. Try to keep it as straight. Go always this arm into the pocket. Turn your blade and kind of come on up. About right there. Do the same on this side right here. A lot of people cable don't realize you can cut the legs like that and they go to a lot yes. more trouble. Yes, sir. You know, right here. But it's, it's fine to cut them right, right here there. It's fine to cut yep. because the tax numbers won't use but to about right here. Exactly. Oh. There you go. Come right back up to the same spot. Okay. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can go, my favorite way, because you know that it gets done right. You want to take your knife, place it in right here. Pull it in. Just be careful. Come on around. Okay. And you can do this with it on the ground if it's a big animal. We have to, but we you can do it, and it's easier to hang it from your back legs. To do a lot it. easier. And you just want to be careful not to cut this cape. Yep, from this point on, we don't want any cuts on it. Just take your time from here, and you're going to leave meat on the you, You'll end. leave meat on the cake. That don't hurt a thing in the Tax world. Taxidermists rather have the meat on there than to cut the hide. Yep. You just want to slowly work your way on down. Yeah, we've made the last cut we're going to make. Once you wring it and cut out the legs from there on, it's like taking a sock off. 
You just peel it from there on down. Just take your knife and just come straight down in this armpit. Don't go too far. Come, turn around this way a little bit, Cable. Okay, we... Just want to go right in here. Yeah. Bring your knife. Be careful. You can get right here. Peel it off. Just like so. And you might nick it, try not to. It's not the end of the world if you do, but just, just don't get in any hurry. Just take your time, there ain't no rush. Just come on straight up here. Be really careful because when they shoot right here, it blows it apart and it's really hard to tell where the hide's at. Yep. Surplus and salvage of Chipley continues to be Northwest Florida's choice for quality metal roofing. Get it now. No waiting like most other metal roof places. Just pay and be on your way. 10 brilliant colors, a very low $1.89 a foot. Top quality gal volume, only $1.35 a foot. The best people, the best results, the best prices. Shop them all, large or small, just give Surplus and Savage of Chipley a try before you buy. Be sure to tell them old Ron sent you. When I'm in need of septic tank service or installation, I use only the pros. I know that I can depend on A1 Septic Tank Service. If you need fast, reliable service, A1 Septic Tank Services will travel within a 100-mile radius. Listen, these folks know the business. They know what they're doing. They have the proper training and schooling. And if you're in need of a new septic system, give them a call. Or if you need repairs to a current system, give them a call. A1 is the one for trustworthy services. Anthony and Christy are hometown folks ready to serve you and treat you right. Give them a call today for more information. I use and I recommend A1 Septic Tank Services. Now Morris at Easy Care Tree and Lawn Services. If you've got trees, bring them on. No job is too big or too small for Easy Care Lawn and Tractor. Just tell Dow where you want it and he'll put it on the ground, cut it up, and haul it off and leave the area nice and clean. Too many of these services come and go, but Easy Care Tree and Lawn Service will be here for you, the customer. Dow and Tabitha employ only the highly trained and qualified personnel to get the job done right. And hey, if you're in need of firewood at a reasonable price, Easy Care has quality oak and pecan. Give Dow and Tabitha a call today because they are looking out for you. 850-527-6291. Have you got water problems? Pump won't pump. Do you need answers and solutions, but you don't want the runaround and you want someone honest? Well, have no fear, folks. Do what I did. Call the man, Water Dan. Dan Dubosel, take care of your problems. Hello, folks. This is Water Dan. I work on submersible pumps, jet pumps, do repairs and upgrades, anything to do with an existing water well. I would appreciate it if you call. Call the man, Water Dan. He'll take care of your water problems. 850-535-9308. 535-9308. Folks, you know why people from Washington, Jackson, Holmes, Bay County, you know why they call Water Dan? Because Dan Dubos knows what he's doing. It's not always bad news. Sometimes it's just a pressure switch or a start capacitor. I'm here to help. Stay right pumps, stainless pumps. They'll warranty that pump for five years against corrosion, abrasion, or lightning. I stand behind that warranty as far as honoring the pump. 90% of the time, it's something above ground. Okay, I'll be glad to answer your questions over the telephone. Y'all give him a call. Just right here, just go ahead and pull it on down. Get it to about a right level so you can not you can see everything you're cutting.
Okay, well, you had any luck hunting this year? Not too much. I... You mount, you do all this work, everybody else is there, and then. I can't get enough time to go off. We try to kill one. Helping everybody else, you don't get to shoot many, huh? No, sir. If you want to take it, just keep on, keep on going. Just be careful right here. This is one of your most trickiest spots. Because that, that hide will fool you. Yes. It doesn't peel off as easy right there on that underside. You just want to take your time on it. Because once I peel these sides down, I'll go as far as I can in here. And I'll do this front side right here. I'll just peel it on down. And once I get it in pretty good ways, then I'll just take it and I can see it. And I'll just run my knife right here along it. Yeah. And it'll pull the hide down far enough. You and as far, as far as how far to cut it down is, the farther you take it down, the less you have to try to put in a cooler. Uh, if you're comfortable, like Cable's taking this one down pretty far, that's fine. You could, he could cut it off at any point now. He could leave five or seven inches of neck in there. But uh, just remember, the farther you take it down at this point, the less if you're on a trip. That's the just less the less. It's going to take room. Up. Yeah, it'll take more room. That's right. Not in the cooler. Take a lot of room. And, and another thing is, you'll get more neck meat. There you go. And really, this is the easiest part when you get to here. It's not too hard to peel it. But he's going to get to a point in just a minute where it'll, it'll just kind of be I'll difficult to go any farther, and that's that's when he'll stop. I'll take it when I get about right here, and I'll try to roll that hide down as much as I can. I take my knife, and I just make a little cut behind the net all the way around because the nerd, it'll make it break down just a little bit more. And the saw is the best thing to use. Or if you know how to do it with a knife, do it. But yeah, you, you can't you separate. Gotta be careful with a saw because it'll go right through that hide. Yeah. Yeah, you can separate that next vertebrae with a knife, but if you got a little saw like that, it's so much easier and quicker. And I don't go all the way through. I go just through the bone, and I take my knife, and I'll just go ahead and cut the rest of this off right here. Yeah, that way he doesn't. So I know nick that, that hide. No hide. And that's a that's a perfect cape. Any taxidermist will be glad to get that. Big. That's a good job, Barry Cable. See, not a whole lot of neck. Good cake. Good job. Left, All right, Cable. Left plenty enough here. As you can see, Tax Service got plenty enough to work with. Yeah. Cable, I appreciate that, man. That's going to yes, help sir. a lot of people out right there. I hope it helps out. Let people watch this and see how to cape out a deer properly. Yeah. I'm going to just go ahead, I think, and let you finish. Because okay. uh, another thing we're going to do on this video is uh, talk to them about transporting these deer and how to keep them cool so uh, as, as you skin that then i can kind of show them how to how to cut it up just in case they're not sure and put it in All a cooler right. well this chronic waste disease now there's about a dozen states that if you kill a deer you can't bring him home. We're gonna we'll talk more about we'll, that. We'll but bone. yeah, you have to completely bone him out. And you can and, and we're fixing to show you the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish caping this deer out to show you how that way all you gotta bring home is the antlers and the skin.